Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to your second tutorial on AngularJS. This is my Atom editor, text editor IDE interface. So if you downloaded Atom, like I suggested in the past tutorial, um, this you may need to just install a package. But if you're not using Atom, you're good to go. You can always use Code Lobster or anyone. If you're using Atom, the first time you start your Atom interface, you have uh, this welcome guide and you have packages this list so click on install a package click on open installer and right here paste this language typescript grammars only um, that's the one package i'll be using in this tutorial so just install yours i've already installed mine i told you that we'll be installing it in the past video tutorial okay so once you have it you are good to go then you have to open a project opening a project you just navigate to the folder where you created your um, angular project remember in the past tutorial we used ng new we did something like ng new then we and en entered an angular project all right we did something like this after navigating to a particular folder all right in this uh tutorial you just have to open a project and navigate to the folder that you wanted to um you created your project all right so this is my own folder to create a open a command line from this folder a shortcut will be just to come somewhere at the bottom hold your shift key on your keyboard and right click on your mouse and once you do that you will see a special context menu that has this option normally if you don't right click this option will not show so if if i just right click normally you will see that that option for command line will not show if you have git installed you can always use git bash so i'll right click and open here and use command line window here so it's already on the path that i wanted okay so the next thing we're going to do is to look at the folder structure of this application i'm going to close this i'm going to close this and i'm going to close this all right angular js folder structure angular 2 folder structure has changed uh, over the year several times over the year but this is the angular final this is how it will be there will not be any breaking changes until the next version all right so as you can see this is very compact i just have my github fo folder here and then i have uh, your e to e uh, folder here you don't need to ever touch this folder but what you have here is basically configuration file for your typescript and then uh, you have your node modules folder this modules folder contains all the packages that works with your angular js angular 2 so if you ever have any problem maybe your app is not running well and you don't have any syntax errors you may just want to do npm install so once you do it it kind of um updates whatever you already have here okay so the next thing we want to look at is the src folder 99 percent of your project work will be in this folder so when you click on this you'll see that it has app assets and environments then you have some of the other files here this is the favicon for your application and, and for now what we have is a and then you can always design yours or your favorite image editor and then create it here this is the one that came with the project all right the next thing you will see here is your index folder this is your root folder index file this is your root file of your project as you can see this basic html just basic html all right and then there is this particular element here that kind of uh funnels the rest of your components into this index page all right and then if you wanted to install any sdk without going through using the npm modules what you would do is to paste the link here maybe if you wanted to add bootstrap to this and you don't want to use the npm or install the package what you just do is copy the bootstrap url and paste the css and javascript and what all what not this is the file you do that manipulation all right then the next thing we'll look at is the apps folder this folder is where you create your pages home page about us contact us and all those pages this is where we'll create it and each page will be a folder each page will be a folder all right subfolder under the app folder next one is the assets this is where you create your css um, folder your javascript folder and whatever folder you need to extra folders images folder fonts folder this is where you create extra folders for the inside these assets so this is basically the organization of your your folder structure in angular uh, js so if you wanted to run test your if you wanted to test your um, 
app to see if it's working properly you just open your command line interface and what you're going to do is um uh, ng serve you hit enter and then it's going to spin up a server for you and they will copy the url of the server and go to a browser and paste all right um this might take time the first time you're doing it so what i'll do is to pause this video and once it spins up the server we can continue okay so here is it mine just completed as you can see ng serve and it spawn spawn up a server at localhost colon 4200 what i'll do is just to copy this I'll, i've highlighted it i'll press ctrl c on my keyboard once and copy it so which means my server as you can see everything is green my server is running and uh, if your server is not running remember to run npm install that means something is broken in your project so i'll right click and paste it on my browser and hit enter and then what i have is loading and then app works so what basically happened here is that it started this loading then it went to um use this app roots to locate this guy here which i will basically teach you the next time app components it's telling you that the selector is app roots anywhere you see app roots run whatever you have here all right that's basically what happened um quickly in this when it's when you saw loading and then app works loading then app works so that's basically what happened in the next tutorial i'll be taking you through uh, exactly the explanation of all these guys here and how these things work all right thank you very much see you in the next tutorial